The strike against General Motors has entered week two. This is Good Day Memphis at 5. I'm John Paul. And I'm Kelsey Cairns. Nearly 50,000 workers are still picketing the automobile giant. Local 24 News reporter Jay Litsochek is live for us in Southeast Memphis at the GM Customer Care and After Sales Facility. Jay, good morning. Yeah, John and Kelsey, good morning. It's been one week now that more than 100 workers here at this facility have went on strike outside of the entrances and all that time they've been reporting to their shifts, but to picket outside, all while UAW tries to strike a deal with GM. After the previous union contract expired, workers across the country went on strike one week ago on Sunday night, just a minute before midnight. This group has had to spend shift lengths outside picketing in the heat to support the UAW's goal of getting employees a bigger slice of GM's profits, a path for permanent jobs for temporary workers, and ensuring no more GM plants close by moving them overseas. This strike has cost these Memphis workers a significant pay cut. During this time, they were only paid $250 a week in union benefits, a far cry from the $17 an hour starting wage employees have told us they make. Production at this facility has likely slowed down. It's responsible for shipping auto parts, but UAW says that their employees account for the majority of the ones that work here. The strike now is the longest against GM since 2007. Of course, that strike only lasted under three days. So far, there's no end in sight here for when these workers will be able to return back to work. Reporting live in Southeast Memphis, Jalen Sochek, Good Day Memphis.